I have been journaling, using planners, using, you know, paper products for a long time. Maybe longer than I should admit since I work at Evernote. <laughs> Hi, my name is Brittany and I am the Senior Community and Education Manager here at Evernote. And I have been on a mission to try to digitize my life. Uh, I put out a video in July about my weekly task organization routine. And I really shortly realized that I had a monthly planner that I was using um, for the past three years. It gets mailed to me once a month. Uh, and I hadn't even opened the August planner and it was the end of August. And so I decided to open it and just see what parts of it was I missing. What parts of it weren't captured in my workflow in tasks? And a couple of things really stood out to me. Uh, one was habit tracking. Uh, and I love habit tracking because I constantly like improving myself, working on myself uh, and trying to grow, um, challenge. That's why a lot of people do habits. Uh, and then mood tracking. Uh, it's a relatively simple concept, but just tracking how you feel, how your emotions are. Uh, and I took a critical look at how it was set up in this paper planner and decided that I wanted to expand on that in Evernote uh, and make some changes and improvements for the way I wanted to use it but couldn't because of the structure of the paper planner itself. Uh, for example, there wasn't a place to really write out why you picked that mood. Uh, and it was kind of a very fragmented experience. So. Um, I think what I have come up with is really cool. I've been using it for almost all of September now, and I'm excited to show you, and I'm ready to set up October with a couple of tweaks. So let's dive right into it. Okay, so when I was converting my habit tracker and my mood tracker into Evernote, it was really important for me to have early and easy access to these notes. Uh, going out of my way to fill out a tracker doesn't necessarily sound useful. So I pinned these two notes to my Evernote home so that I can easily access them when I need to fill them out. You can also see I set up recurring tasks in both of those notes to remind me <laughs> to update my mood tracker and my habit tracker. So really quickly, let me show you what, how I did my September habit tracker. For the month of September, I really wanted to set some intentions. I love the word intention. Uh, it brings a lot less anxiety than the word goals. Intentions are something you're striving for, and there is self-love and grace in not maybe meeting those goals. Uh, an intention is something that you really want to focus more on doing. So things like I just wanted to read instead of be on my phone in bed. I wanted to be intentional about saying yes to things. Uh, you know, I wanted to further dedicate myself to converting more workflows in Evernote. And I love that these are at the top of my habit tracker because I can see them every time I open this note and I am reminded of what I am trying to remember <laughs> to do this month. So when I went to set up my habits, I wanted to put them in a table to make it easy for me to identify when I did something and when I didn't do something. Uh, you'll note here, this is actually an emoji. Uh, this is the check mark emoji. And I did this on purpose because I didn't want to, um, I didn't want to use a checkbox and see an empty checkbox a checkbox on a day that I didn't complete something. I think visually for me, leaving that field empty uh, was just simply letting it be. It's okay. It, it was my way of giving myself that, that grace, that wiggle room. I am not a morning person, but by golly, I'm trying. <laughs> uh, and I really like having to scroll down through this and reflect on my month. 
I didn't really have this option in my paper planner because it was all on one page and it was sort of in a circle. So you didn't really have to pass your other days to see uh, to get to your current date for your habits. So this is also another way, great way to add a little bit of reflection to your habit tracker. And of course, again, I have that recurring task set up every morning at 10 a.m. down here at the bottom of my note. When I set up my mood tracker, I wanted to put it in a table to give myself, again, that room to organize my thoughts in a way that was manageable for me. So you'll see here that I have an observations and a mood. I have uh, been using emojis, which previously in my paper planner, the moods were only colors or stickers or whatever it is, that, a symbol. And there was no space at all to write any observations about your mood. And that's something I really wanted to fix here in my digital version of this. And I love the way it turned out. I love being able to see like, I know exactly what I felt that day because it was so hot in Black Canyon of the Gunnison. <laughs> and the views were so stunning though. Uh, and I did a hike, but it was so tiring. Seeing these emojis and pairing it with my observation of the day genuinely gives me a great recap of what I felt that day, why I felt that way, and I love this way of being able to reflect back on on what I did uh, that, that day, this month as a whole. So being able to kind of scroll quickly on through is something that for me, scrolling past every single day. I love being able to see the trends in, uh, you know, there's quite a few, uh, you know, heart eye emojis for really fun, great days. I, I think um, this has been so much better for me personally than the paper planner and not being able to have a place to put my daily observations right next to my moods. This has also been an excellent reflection tool for me to use when I go to therapy. My therapist will often ask me how I'm doing, um, name some emotions that I'm feeling. And I used to just go blank. You know, you get asked to do something and then your brain just goes, I don't know. I don't know how I feel. <laughs> uh, and so being able to pull this up in my therapy sessions and being able to you know, identify, hey, I was a little anxious, things were a little hectic, but then I was able to relax. Um, you know, I was so melty this day, it was very hot. I get very irritated when I'm hot. <laughs> so, you know, just knowing that everything made it, um, you know, it was still worth it in the end. I love being able to have this easy re retrospective on my weeks, my days, my month, uh, to be able to bring that to my therapy sessions as well. So if that is important to you, this might be really helpful. So let's go ahead and get started making our October habit trackers and mood trackers. I'm gonna show you how I do it. I'm gonna create a new note and get to work on it. So I want to put a little emoji first and foremost. It's October, I love spooky season. It's definitely going to be the pumpkin emoji. I'm going to do, um, whoop, I don't even know what I'm typing. October habit tracker, all right. And so now what's really cool is I'm working here in my note view. So I can flip back to my September habit tracker and just simply start copying over a few things. So um, for example, I want to copy over my little intentions. I might update those, but I don't know. I might not. Now, uh, in my habit tracker, I also had this sweet little image so that it would show up um, in the preview of card view. So let me pull up my October one that I made. All right. So cute. Okay. Uh, and then we will uh, add our table. So I think I'm going to just copy the table. If you select this little uh, top corner piece of the table, it'll copy the whole thing, which is really nice. So I will paste that here. And now I can kind of delete all these cells. Voila. 
Since October has one more day than September, I'll add one more row, give it that old 31. And now I want to color my columns different colors. So I'll select the whole column from the very top and now I can change the colors. So I think I'm gonna do a little green. I think here I want to do green and maybe yellow. No, I don't like that. Maybe it's green and gray. Yeah, I like that for some reason. That looks cool. Okay, so here we go. What am I on, gray? See, I forgot already. <laughs> Okay, and now I'm all set for October. I forgot I wanted to do, okay, habits this month. And I love this font, the handwritten. It just feels really cute. I'll bold it. There we go. Awesome. And so now I am ready for October. I will definitely be revisiting my monthly intentions but my habit tracker seems to be on track now let's create the october mood tracker okay so for our october habit tracker again i really love using emojis to symbolize different notes you can see here many of my notes do have emojis at the start of them it's a great visual identifier uh, if you're moving quickly you can pick out an image faster than you can read the word little tip October mood tracker. Cool. So again, I'm going to copy over some of my ideas. So this month I had this really cool kind of idea for vibes. So I'm going to do some different vibes this month. So I'm just going to copy over the word vibes. And now I am going to add my image in here. So let me pull that back up and just drop that right there. Perfect. Okay. Now I want to copy over the table. So let's grab our today I feel and then our table. Again, you can select anywhere in the table, grab this top left corner, it copies the whole thing. Great. So I'm going to delete all of this. And now I can add my new images. And yes, it's so cool. I love being able to put images inside of a table. So I'm going to just drag that over here for mood. And then I have my other one for observations. Cute. You can also kind of resize them a little bit depending on how big they are, how little they are. So um, now that I have my mood and my observations, I think I'm gonna change this to a little orangey theme. And you already know my feelings about the pumpkins. Pumpkin everything. Okay, so now that I have my table emptied out, I also added the 31st down at the bottom. So we are ready to go for the month of October. I just need to fill out and update my intentions for the month, what habits I'm gonna focus on this month, and what my vibes are gonna be for October. So I have my update mood tracker task. Once September is over, obviously I'll want this task to be moved to my October mood tracker. A simple way to do that would be to just go to task details and move the note. Uh, simply search for the word October and you'll see my mood tracker right there and I'll be able to move that task with the recurrence and everything already set up just straight over to that note, super easy. Uh, so that's what I'll be doing at the end of this month as soon as I close out September. So there you have it. October, all set up, ready to go. September, we already went over that. As soon as the month ends, I'm going to update my recurring tasks to move to the correct note. You can also change your penned note just straight from the home screen itself by clicking on the three dots and replace note. Again, just search for the word October 
and see what comes up. So there you have it, how to make a habit tracker and mood tracker in Evernote, or at least the way I did it. I'd love to see how you make your habit trackers and mood trackers in Evernote. Uh, be sure to tag us in any post you do. Use the hashtag, how do you ever know? So we can follow and engage um, with your inspiring ideas as well. And as always, happy fall.